hi guys and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi hello my name is Yanu Ofeyemi a youtuber based in Lagos and I make content based on lifestyle productivity scholarship opportunities vlogs movie reviews and reality TV reviews even though that is on hold okay so in my last video I talked about how I got demonetized on YouTube what made my channel demonetized on youtube i'm going to leave the link up here yeah i'll leave the link up here for you guys to watch the video i shared with you what made my channel demonetized okay so in today's video i am going to be sharing with you what i did to get back my account for monetization do not panic whenever you get the notification of demonetization due to reuse content do not panic you're going to get back your account it's just um few weeks suspension and for those few weeks you are not going to get any money from youtube that's just basically what the whole monetization thing is all about you can still create content and post content on the channel okay so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you two ways that you can get back your account there are two ways that you can get back your account the first one is to take and happy you and the second one is to wait for your demonetization to your suspension to be over which takes about a month okay so if you think that um the demonetization um the monetization due to reuse content is a mistake you can consider taking an appeal in my own case i took an appeal twice the first appeal i took i was in a hurry to like make the appeal video so i just made the video and i submitted the video with no much content with no much thing to say i was just talking about the whole um uh, what my channel is all about you know blah blah just blabbing basically okay so after i took the first appeal it got rejected i re i waited for um the 30 days to reapply i did reapply and it still got rejected and i was given another opportunity to like take an appeal again or wait for another 30 days that's like 60 days guys i'm like no i can't do this i made my research online i checked um the rules guiding you making an appeal video online and i read a lot about it uh, this time around i was being calm and i was being realistic like baby girl you made your first appeal video and it was rejected make sure the second one doesn't get rejected that was what kept on coming to my mind and that was what i did so at the end of this video i mean before okay this is it let me break it down i will be sharing with you what to say in your happy video whenever you get demonetized due to reuse content basically so at the end of this video i am going to um you get to watch how i made my appeal video yeah you get to see it at the end of this video okay so but before you get to see the video i'm just going to take you through the process of you making your appeal video what to say what not to say what to do and what not to do in order to not get rejected again after you have taken an appeal okay so let's get right into the video so the first time i made an appeal video it wasn't approved and i had to wait for 30 days to apply for monetization which wasn't accepted that is why you have it on the screen your channel wasn't approved for monetization so the first thing you want to do is to review youtube feedback for the do's and don'ts of monetization so let's just go through the do's and don'ts i'm going to read out the don'ts so that you get to understand the videos that you can monetize and videos that you shouldn't monetize so part of the mistake i made was me monetizing uh, one of the videos that i shouldn't have monetized so let's just review this and here we go so we have the do's and don'ts i'm just going to read through the don'ts you can check out the do's yourself because the don't is what will get you demonetized so for the don't 
do not monetize short videos you compiled from other social media websites. Collections of songs from different artists. Clips of moments from your favorite show edited together without little or no narrative. Remember I said in my last video that I went live, I streamed live. I streamed the Big Brother reunion show live. So that video that I streamed violates the do's and don'ts of reuse content. So you must not monetize content uploaded many times by other creators or promotions of other people's content. So I'm not going to go through the do's, you can just read through that yourself. But but make sure to state it in your appeal video that your content do not evaluate all of these don'ts. For instance, you can say my content are not um, videos gotten from social media. So just make sure you state it. That is, if you are sure that your content are not reused content, okay? If your content are reused content, your appeal would be rejected. So let's just um, go through the next phase. And so like i said earlier there are two ways that you can get back your monetization okay so the first one is to take and help you okay and the second one is to reapply for monetization right so for the option one appeal by sending a video before you send an appeal video do not delete any video like do not make that mistake before you make an appeal video before you send an appeal video to the youtube team make sure you do not delete any video prior to that your vi your video description you should not add any details of appeal information your video must be less than five minutes long and your video must be unlisted and your narration should be in english hindi and uh what's it called bengali or better still you can subtitle your narration if you are speaking in another language so on the day of monetization this I mean, on the day I was taking the appeal, this is my requirement. And before you can also appeal, I mean, before you can apply for monetization, you must make sure that your channel still meets the requirements for monetization. Okay. So, in your appeal video, you have to um, include your channel you have held within the first 30 seconds of your channel you must refer to the google adsense program policy as well and talk about your channel as a whole not just the video that meets youtube guidelines you must provide visual examples of how you create your content how you film and edit your content basically that is all you need to do so after you must have filmed your appeal video, upload on your channel, that, that is the channel that got demonetized, add a title. I would advise you not to add a description. Do not add any description. Copy the video link and paste it in the required space in your YouTube studio. Yeah, just paste it here. And then you submit your appeal video. So I submitted my appeal video on 6th of August, and on the 8th of August, my appeal video was accepted, and my channel is now back. My channel is now monetized. I am now part of the YouTube partnership program. Okay, so you can see your appeal has been submitted and is under 
review so if you enjoy watching this video and if i was able to help you in any way please kindly subscribe to this channel like my video and turn on the post notification bell hi youtube team so when you're making this video in order to appeal for the demonetization on my channel everything started june when the big boy like jerry you know she started and i live streamed the fourth second third and fourth time the third i got a copyright claim on the third and the fourth and it got me a strike and ever since the fourth live stream i stopped live streaming the content and i started making reviews sit down reviews and talk about the show after the show was over i think a week after the show was over i got a second strike from the very first live stream that i did and i'm like okay i don't know and i don't know the next video to get me a strike and i had to take down all of this content from my channel i deleted everything from my channel and the following day i got a demonetization um, notification and i'm like okay since i've gotten the, the, the monetary notification let me appeal i tell the appeal but i was not really detailed enough in the appeal and the appeal was rejected so after taking the appeal i waited 30 days in order to reapply for monetization i did reapply for the monetization and it was rejected and i feel like this and i feel like that is a mix-up somewhere because all the videos on my channel right now are videos that do not violate the youtube program policy does not violate the google adsense program policy there are videos that i created myself there are videos that i brought up the idea there are videos i wrote down i scripted it down there are videos that i took my phone to record myself so i feel like there's a mix up somewhere and i would love if youtube team can please review um review what is happening because i have reviewed youtube feedback and i can tell you that all the videos on my channel are not videos gotten from social media they're not compiled videos from social media they are not um they're not people's content they are contents that i created myself they are, they are not promotions of other people's content um they are not content uploaded by other creators these videos this content on my channel are content that i took my time to edit i took my time to film way before now i make videos on diy tutorial um challenges you know i was just all about i was everywhere but now i've been able to narrow down to making vlogs lifestyle um scholarship opportunities and i was trying to like go into uh reviewing reality tv reviews and movie reviews but i've not been able to figure that out how because that was what got me um, the first and the second strike and i think that was what actually got me demonetized so i am still trying to figure out how and i'm trying to like find a niche for my channel which with time i am going to figure out how so i use my mobile phone iphone x how to record all my videos and this is a visual representation of me setting up to record a sit down video i use this background to record my sit down videos and sometimes i use this background to record my videos and sometimes i also use my cutting background to record my videos and that is how i film my videos so whenever i want to edit i use the video shop app to edit my videos and these are um, the videos that i am not even done editing that i still want to put out there i also use the InShot app to edit my videos and i have videos that i am still working on as you can see i have them yeah so these are just the two major hubs that i use to edit my so videos i feel like there's a mix up somewhere now that all the content on my channel are content that i made myself content that i edit um i brought up the idea myself and i am still unable to join the youtube partnership program and i would love youtube should please review this and um i don't know just do what is needed to be done okay so thank you